Welcome back to yet another ballistics gel test and it is a hot one out here today but we're going to be shooting some Norma Bond Strike 143 grain and 6.5 Creedmoor. And here is the box right here so you can get a look at it. I'll flip it around. You can stop and pause and zoom in if you want. It's got some ballistics data and some performance promo but what I want to do is show you the ammo because Norma just screams quality control. I mean the brass, the bullets, everything just looks absolutely perfect and beautiful and something else I wanted to tell you about is these little plastic ammo holders that Norma uses you can crack them like that and have two little five rounders you can slip in your pocket if you want to throw in a range bag but also this plastic can be used as a fire starter Norma actually has a video on YouTube showing them out in the woods using this to start a fire so that's really neat and the test rifle today is going to be my Ruger American chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Of course, we've got a 22 inch barrel up top. I've got a Leopold VX Freedom 3 to 9 by 40. And bringing up the rear, of course, I've got one of my Mason leather cartridge cuffs. This rifle's name is Pig Ugly. You can kind of see it behind the cartridges there. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get one for yourself. I would love to make you one. And I want to show you over here on the other side, we've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. So we're down here at the blocks after shooting that 140 grain Norma Bond Strike out of the 6.5 Creedmoor and that ammo definitely flops the blocks around quite a bit. Uh, this is what it looks like after that third shot and it looks like we got two bullets captured. One in there, one right there. The third bullet must have slipped out the side somewhere. I saw it through the scope. I got a good hit but it must have exited somewhere but two will work. And I've got the tape measure set up so we can look at penetration. Let's go back and take a look. It looks like we got one bullet right at, we'll give it 20 inches, that one on the left there. And then the one down there in the bottom of the block, it looks like about 22 and we'll give it 22 and 3 eighths inches. And again, I don't know where that third bullet went, but this is really good penetration. We passed that 20 inch mark that I like to see for big game hunting ammo. This definitely will do the job. And then something else I want to point out, in this front block sorry about how it's kind of messed up looking it's when you when you cast one of these blocks you wrap it in plastic to protect it and it looks kind of like this anyways we got quite a bit of fragmentation well not quite a bit there's a little bit of fragmentation in there it is hard to see through the surface of the block but there are some bits and pieces so it will be interesting to see what the retained weight of these bullets is and let's take a look at the velocities for that 143 grain norma bond strike i said 140 earlier so our high was 26.29, our low was 25.94, and our average was 26.15. And here we have those Norma Bond Strike 143 grain bullets pulled out of the ballistics gel. First we're going to talk about weight retention. Respectively we saw 104 grains and 136 grains of weight retention for an average of 120 grains, and that works out to 84% retained weight. Now personally I would like to see a little bit higher weight retention but these are marketed as a longer range bullet so at closer range 100 yards and less as you can see they do expand rather violently and will shed a little bit of their weight just because of how they're built. And that will lead us to expansion so respectively we saw 0.76 inches of expansion and 1.12 inches on that T1000 of a bullet there on the right. Um, if you've seen Terminator 2 you'll get the reference. And that works out to an average of 0.94 inches, which is 3.6x expansion on average. That is absolutely insane. And again, these are longer range bullets. They're meant for longer range shooting. So it's not totally surprising at closer range, around 100 yards or less, you're going to see some very, very violent expansion. 
And now we'll go ahead and talk about velocity. The high velocity was 2,629 feet per second. The low was 2,594 for an average of 2,615 feet per second versus a build velocity on the box of 2,740 feet per second. And that works out to, on average, 125 feet per second slow. A little bit disappointing, but honestly, it's not that bad compared to a lot of other types of ammo that I've shot. Unfortunately, factory ammo just very rarely comes close to its stated specs. They're always using 24 inch barrels or even longer at the factory to test, which is just ridiculous. And now we'll talk about penetration. Respectively, we saw 20 inches and 22 and 3 eighths inches of penetration for both of these bullets. And the average works out to just a hair over 21 inches of penetration. And I think that's pretty good, especially with how violently these expanded. I think at farther range, 200, 300, even maybe 400 yards, if that expansion was in check a little bit, you might actually see more penetration. All right, y'all, final thoughts on the Norma Bond Strike 143 grain load out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. Weight retention was pretty good. It's not as high as I would have liked to have seen from a bonded bullet, but we gotta remember Norma Bond Strike is meant as a longer range bullet. So at 100 yards, we're probably gonna see a little bit less weight retention and a little bit more massive expansion, which leads into expansion. It was absolutely catastrophic. We had that one bullet that looked like the T-1000 out of Terminator 2 back in the 90s. I have no doubt that if our impact distance was farther, we wouldn't have seen such ridiculous expansion we would have got higher weight retention and probably deeper penetration which leads into the penetration talk we had just over 20 inches but again we had massive massive expansion the performance of this bullet I think is really really good for what it is meant for I do want to test this stuff at longer range eventually logistically I can't do it right now I don't have a range that I can really reach out that far but eventually I do want to try bond strike and several other select loads at 300 maybe even 500 yards so look for that in the future I don't know when but for now I'm really happy with Norma bond strike if I was going to go hunting and I expected longer shots I would definitely give this stuff a try Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.